tonight on Be Something Wonderful, how to manifest it without desiring it. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email this morning from one of our subscribers that asked me, Tom, can you elaborate a little bit more on this idea of, of surrendering to your wish fulfilled? And, and you mentioned letting go of your desiring, but holding on to your desire. Can you unpack that a little bit more? Guys, we're gonna unpack that tonight and more. So what I wanna say, when I'm referring to holding on to your desires, or what your desires are, your desires are, that, are those states of consciousness seeking fulfillment. Hear this, your desires are those states of being or states of consciousness seeking fulfillment, are those states that, that, you, that you will want to occupy and imagine your wish fulfilled. That's what we're talking about here. The desiring and the wanting you want to let go. Why? That's coming from those lower levels of consciousness. That's coming from your present state of consciousness, right? When you're desiring and wanting, you're in that lower state or that present state that you want to move from. Your desires are in that state of consciousness seeking embodiment. That's what we're talking about tonight, guys. So I, a few days ago, I referred to a quote from Neville Goddard where we we're talking about effortless manifestations. What does Neville say? Neville says, the end of all longing should be being. Neville, this is what Neville's saying, that you've got to move to that state of consciousness or that state of being where your wish is already fulfilled right? You've got to move from the longing and the wanting, your current state, that lower state of consciousness, that unwanted state of consciousness, to your desired state, where your wish is already fulfilled, where, you're, where you already have your desire. Why? L wanting and longing come from, come from this thing of not having it already, right? It's this idea that that you're trying to attract something in your life that you don't currently have. You're trying to fill some, a empty space in your life or, or, or trying to have something or attract something to you that you don't currently have. That's why you've got to let go of the desiring and wanting. Why? Because it implies non-fulfillment. It implies that your wish is not already fulfilled. This is where doubt seeps in, right? Where, the, where this possibility of non-fulfillment, you have doubt. When you have doubt, it, it makes you want it more. It makes it somehow more urgent to have it when you doubt that it's going to come, right? So that causes more desiring and more wanting. And that keeps you locked in that lower state of consciousness. That's what we're talking about here. So Neil Donald Walsh, uh, who wrote the books, Conversations with God, he talks about the be, do, have paradigm. I want to touch on this tonight. I've talked about this in previous lessons, but let's, let's tie it all together tonight. Neil Donald Walsh says, you do not have to do anything, right? For those of you that keep wanting to do something, right? Wanting to have it, right? You're, you're, you're more focused on having something than moving to a state of being something. Hear this because it's in the state of being that you can have it all. But yet you're, you're, you're focused on the having and not the being, right? Neil Donald Walsh says you don't have to do anything. It's all a question of what you are being. It, when you are focused on moving to that state of consciousness or that state of being, it's in the bag. It's in the bag. You have it all. So what, what Neil Donald Walsh pointed out in his books on Conversations with God is that we have the, the be, do, have paradigm reversed. We, focus, we think that the havingness will produce the beingness. If I only have my SP, if I only have that specific person in my life, I will be happy and then I'll be able to do all the things I want to do. Or if I only have that, that, that money, or that time I'll be able to do the things I want to do and then finally I'll be happy, secure, and, and abundant, right? You've got to go directly to being and then you can do and have whatever your heart desires, right? You've got to move to that higher state of consciousness. When you, when you get stuck in havingness 
or, or doing this. You get stuck in this idea that you need to have something now or do something to be something. And this keeps you stuck in that lower level of consciousness. We're reversing the be, do, have paradigm, right? You want to go directly to being. And then when you, when you feel abundant, when you occupy that state of consciousness of abundance, when you occupy that state of consciousness of love or being loving, where your SP is, that, then you will have your SP. Then you will have the money. Then you'll be able to do whatever you want. This is big tonight, guys. This be, do, ha we have it reversed. You want to go directly to being, right? This havingness, this is what Neil says, havingness does not produce beingness. It's the other way around. And this is consistent with what, what Neville says, right? You've got to claim it. You've got to assume your wish fulfilled. You've got to claim, you've got to move to that higher state. And then you can have all that you want then you can do whatever you want, right? This is what we're talking about, guys. Remember, um, the wanting and, 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 and desiring implies non-fulfillment. So that's why you get stuck in that lower level of consciousness. When you focus on being, when you move, because desires are those states of consciousness or those states of being seeking fulfillment, then you can have your SP. You can have the money, right? You're already abundant. Then you start attracting all those things in your life that you want. Why? Because you're moving to a state of consciousness where those things are. That's big. That is how to manifest it without desiring it. I am your host, Tom Karen. And this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos, comments please, and, uh, and um, uh, visit our website at, at tomcaren.com or besomethingwonderful.com. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful or on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, or write me anytime at info at besomethingwonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, this is Tom with great love. See you soon.